All right, guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be solving the question four from the first chapter of the Hibbler textbook, Mechanics of Materials. And in this one, we have a force of 80 Newton that is supported by the bracket as shown. And we need to determine the result in internal loading acting on the section through point A. So we have this point A and we have to figure out all the reactions that we have at point A. So uh, as always, what we need to do in here, we have to section this bracket at point A in order to figure out the all the reactions that we have at that point. And before that, let's just call our X and Y in this direction. So this will be our X and this will be our Y. And I'm just going to draw the free body diagram in here. And if we do that, we have the bracket that makes 30 degrees in here. And if we go down a little bit, we have the 80 Newton force, which makes 45 degrees with a vertical line or horizontal line and this will be 30 degrees and i'm going to show the reactions that we have at point a in different colors so we can consider one x component one y component and we're going to consider a moment of ma in here too which shows we have three unknowns at point a in total and we are in equilibrium we can use our equilibrium equation sum of all forces equal zero and same for the moment so let's start with sum of all forces in x direction and see what we get uh what we need to figure out is that this is our x direction and we have these two parallel line and this angle here would be 30 degrees meaning this angle is 45 minus 30 or 15 degrees so basically if we want to do a parallel line in here with our x actually the figure is not the greatest in here i'm just gonna show it so let's do the parallel line in here and this will be our f so this angle right here is 15 degrees so if we want to find the x component the x component of f i'm going to show it in green this would be the y component the f x component would be f cosine of 15 degrees and the y component of f would be f sine of 15 degrees so in f direction we have fx minus f cosine of 15 degrees is equal to zero and we already know that f is 80 so 80 cosine of 15 degrees so 80 times cosine of 15 that's going to give us 77.3 newton that's our first unknown at point a, we go with our Fy, so we have Fy minus F sine of 15 degrees since it's downward, so we'll be in the opposite direction of our Fy equal to zero, so Fy in here will be this time 80 sine of 15 degrees, so 80 times sine of 15, that's going to be 20.7 Newton. There's only one unknown left, and that would be the moment that we consider at point A. So last equation, sum of all forces, sum of all moments about point A, counterclockwise positive as always. So we have the MA, and we're going to use our 2D shortcut that we have for finding the moment. If we find these two components of our F, look what we usually consider for X and Y, as opposed to what we consider for X and Y in this question it's pretty easy to find the distances that we are interested in because we are looking for the vertical distance to the line of action which is this one and also this distance so if we go with these two if we dissolve our f into these two components it's easier to find these distances compared to these ones because we have to figure out this distance in here but both work it's up to you guys it's your preference because if we go with what what we consider as our x and y in here like if we go with the green components actually i'm going to show it with green first of all we have to figure out we know this part is 1.1 1 .1 meter and if we want to figure that angle here this angle would be same as this angle right here which is basically which would be 90 minus 45 minus 15, which is going to be 30 degrees. The moment of this component, which is counterclockwise, so positive F sine of 15 degrees, which from the previous part we know is 
and the distance would be this part which is 0.3 plus this part which was 0.1 sine of 30 degrees so we have 0.3 plus 0.1 sine of 30 degrees and we also have the moment of the x component which is this one so the moment is in the opposite direction so negative f cosine of 15 degrees and the distance that we have so this is the line of action and we need this distance in here which is basically point one cosine of 30 degrees so all we need to do in here is to calculate this one so our ma will be f sine of 15 is what we have in here so 20.7 times 0.3 plus sine of 30 is 0.5 so 0.3 plus 0 0.005 oh actually this one will be negative plus we have 77.3 times 1.5 cosine of 30 degrees so we just have to calculate this value in here so minus 20.7 times 0.3 35 plus 77.3 times 0.1 times cosine of 30 and this is going to be minus 0.55 newton meter and the final answer for this question let me know you guys if you get the same answer uh, if you dissolve your f into these two components you have different distance vector so you will have different position vector as i said this will be one of them and the other one would be this one but it's actually a good practice try that approach to see if you guys get the same answer and let me know in the comment section uh, if you guys have any questions and check out the playlist we're covering different textbooks in this channel feel free to drop your questions so if you want me to cover another problem in the next videos feel free to drop it in the comment I'll try my best to make the next videos for that specific problem. And you guys take care. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.